there was a, a, a record store in Olympia called Funk Fuzz. And my buddy Scott Taylor, who plays bass and keyboards and I think bass and keyboards and, and some percussion on Record Store and Own Your Lips, he was working there. And he is just a, uh, he loves talking about music. Whatever his spectrum he's on, I am on that same spectrum. <laughs> like, I just talk about records forever. So I come in and we just talk forever and he put things on and we play and I loved it. And I got so inspired. This is also right around when Tom Petty had died. There's something about this song that feels very much like Tom Petty spirit. I wanted the track to sound like a 70s Heartbreakers track. Yeah. The Last DJ is one of my favorite Tom Petty and Heartbreakers records. And all of this was just going around in my head. And I came up with a song and it just came out of me and it felt really great. I went into the studio and I worked with the with Scott and Skyler on it. We took, you know, it took a while doing the process we did. We'd get together for a weekend and then take a couple months off and get together for another weekend. Finally, the song is finally done. I'm so excited to play it for the guys down at Funk Fuzz. And literally the week that the song was finished, Funk Fuzz closed. No. And I was like, much town still got it. Oh, God. Oh. So depressing. <laughs> How long and had it been that, there? It had been well. It was inside of a. It was in a place called Dumpster Values, and the guy who runs it, a guy named Johnny Baltimore, had just sort of like little record sales. Mm-hmm. Like he'd had a booth at the book and record store thing for a long time, and then he moved into the Funk Fuzz. We actually have a, a several record stores in Olympia, but I really just like this one because my friend, like a lot of the, not to cast too much shade on the record stores of Olympia, but some of them has some pretty snarky, like make you feel like yeah. shit just for a- for asking for a record <laughs> kind of thing. So for me, the joy was in not just the record store, but having a really friendly, welcoming face in the record store yeah. as someone who just, you could just talk about records for an hour and just a great way to spend the afternoon. So this is why I went back to LA, went back to Olympia this last spring to shoot a video for it with Misha Livingstone, who shot the video for Absolutely Sense of Humor and has a great one coming out for Olympia's Secret. And we shot it at a place called Lantern Records. But since then, since shooting it, Funk Fuzz has reopened. Okay. And when the record comes out on April 19th, I'm going to be playing record store day at funk fuzz records the record store that i wrote about it's now in a, it's moved across the street to a different place but it is it survives and so not only does my town still have a record store my town still has that record store and they just need to hire scott taylor back to talk about records there 